Hey everyone, welcome to another entry for the Body Language Library playlist. Today we're talking about adapters. This is something that is highly researched in nonverbal communication and once you start looking for it, you will be amazed at how often you see it and how that shift can indicate that someone might be experiencing stress or anxiety pertaining to a specific topic. Now in the literature, adapters have a lot of synonyms. The term was originally used by Ekman and Friesen and then they themselves changed it to manipulators because manipulators better describes what an adapter looks like. But in a lot of the other literature and research, they just kept the term adapters. So until today, we use both. Other terms used in the literature and research that are synonymous with adapters are self-touching gestures, self-soothing gestures, pacifiers, and many other words along those lines. So what are adapters? Adapters are any gesture that is repetitive and has a massage-like feeling. So this could be on the face, this could be rubbing on the arms, rubbing the legs, massaging the hands, wringing the hands like this. It can also even be with an object. So if someone's holding a pen and they're massaging the pen in their hands or a stress ball, sometimes we see politicians holding onto a podium and their hands might start massaging the podium or the chair that someone's sitting on. These are all self-soothing behaviors. They are used to, like a pacifier or like a stress ball, calm us down and reduce that stress. So adapters seem to be used in stressful moments to reduce anxiety and the research definitely supports that. Elizabeth Shreve and her colleagues looked over hours of footage of patients talking to their physicians and noticed that in high anxiety topics, although our illustrators, these are the motions that we use to support what we're saying and are usually very synced with our words, the illustrators didn't go up during high anxiety conversations, but the adapters absolutely did. Adapters, or as they called it in this research, hand to body self-touching happened a lot more during high anxiety topics than topics that were not that stressful. So we use adapters when we're feeling high anxiety or stress, but we also use them to conceal stress or anxiety. Ekman and Friesen did a lot of the research on adapters. And in one study, they showed two groups of people, two different videos. One was a very pleasant video, one was a very high stressed, unpleasant video. Then all these individuals had to speak to someone and describe the video as pleasant. So obviously, one group just had to say what they saw. The other group is still experiencing the stress of that video, plus the added stress of having to tell someone it was pleasant when it wasn't. And in that second group, there were a lot more adapters and self-soothing gestures. So is this enough to assume that if you see someone adapting that they're being deceptive? Absolutely not. But if someone's relaxed and comfortable and all of a sudden something happens and we see those adapters starting and they're self-soothing and then maybe they relax again but the topic comes up again and once again we see those adapters, well that shift might indicate that something is stressing them out or that they're trying to conceal a stress. 